This is example two from lesson R.5. In this case, we are going to be solving three different equations, and we're going to see an example of a, an equation having a unique solution, an equation having infinitely many solutions, and an equation having no solution. So let's start off with equation A, and let's go ahead and add our like terms over here. So that's going to give me 3x plus 1 equal to 6x minus 2. All right, let's get all our x's on one side so we can subtract the 3x over here. This is going to give me 1 equal to 3x minus 2. And if I add the 2 over here, we have 3 equal to 3x. And then dividing by 3 tells me that this equation has a unique solution, and that unique solution is that x is equal to 1. All right? Now let's look at equation B. Let's distribute the 2 into the parentheses. This is going to give me negative 10x minus 2, and this will be equal to 2 minus 12x plus 6. All right, let's combine our like terms over here. We've got negative 10x minus 2 equal to negative 12x uh, plus 8. All right, let's get all our x's on one side. So we'll add this 12x over here. That gives us 2x minus 2 is equal to 8. And if we add 2, we have 2x equal to 10. And when we divide by 2, it turns out that x is equal to 5, so this one also has a unique solution. And I don't know if you realized it, but I royally messed this one up way back here in the very first step. So I'm going to have to erase all of this right here so we can get back to the top because I copied the problem incorrectly. The right side of that equation should be 2x minus 12x not 2 minus 12x. Okay. Let's see what we can do about this. Yeah. All of these in here. Okay, part B, take 2. After we distribute the 2 into the parentheses, we have negative 10x minus 2 equals 2x minus 12x plus 6. All right, if we combine our like terms over here, that's going to be this one and this one rather than the 2 and the 6. All right, this is going to give me negative 10x minus 2 equal to negative 10x plus 6. All right, let's get all our x's on one side. So I'm going to add this 10x over here. and that leaves me with negative 2 because they're going to cancel out equal to positive 6 because they're going to cancel out. My x's are all gone. So now I take a look at this equation. Is negative 2 equal to negative 6? No, this is not true. And so this equation has no solution. which we can write with, as a circle with a slash through it, like so. Okay. In C, we're going to start off, we're going to distribute the 2 into the parentheses. This is going to give us 6x minus 2. And I'm going to distribute the 6 into the parentheses over here. This is going to give me 6x plus 6 minus 8. Let's add our like terms. We've got 6x minus 2 equal to 6x minus 2. Well, 
I have the same thing on both sides of the equal sign. Um, this is a true statement. And that means that this equation has all real numbers as a solution.